Hello, this is Dale. In this video, I'm going to go over how to create an alert. A lot of times in the nightly video blog, I'll talk about creating an alert when something breaks through support or resistance. And I want to show you how I set that up. Now, I use the Thinkorswim platform, and I'm not sure how. I'm not, first of all, I'm not associated with Thinkorswim, and I'm not really sure how you would set up an alert in in a platform other than Thinkorswim. If you do have another platform, you might listen to this and try to ask a question to your trading platform and see if they have something similar to that. First of all, on the Thinkorswim platform, you want to go up here to this little gadget see it's in the upper right hand corner it's the settings gadget if you right click on that and go into application settings click on application settings and come over to notifications on notifications there is two things to do do you want a notification to come to your email or do you want a notification to come to your cell phone to your to a text if you want an email what you have to do is go ahead and click this <coughs> excuse me this button and go ahead and add an address what thinkorswim will do then is send you an email to verify that that indeed is your address same thing is true when you add a text number they will they will send an email for you to verify that down here I want to do alerts as they're triggered and uh, right now I just have this set up to send an email at the market when one is triggered <clears throat> now once you have the notification set up it's very simple to set up an alert all you have to do is come over let's say you want to have a, an alert if it traded if Disney traded below uh, 107.14 you wanted to have an alert sent out all you have to do is right click and come down here and choose create an alert and that brings you the field now at this point in time uh, it's already trading down below here so let, let's say you want it to uh, if it goes above there so you just want to say at, at the mark if it's at or above 107.15 go ahead and create that alert the other thing is that you can you can set it for at or below. You can just say below or or above. Uh, you can make this number anything you want, and you can change it from mark to the last or the bid or the ask or anything you want here at the close. Once you set this up, all you do is hit create, and you can see how that goes right onto your chart and you know that you have an alert set up that if this gets above this point you want to take some action you've already planned out what action you're going to take so when you get the alert saying that Disney has gone above this you know you want to go and look for a call opportunity and that's how I use alerts it's a very very nice way to set up your plan your trades and not have to watch the market 24 7 this will alert you when the condition is fulfilled then I I always know what my plan is I come in here and just check it see if I still like it and then go ahead and execute the trade 